In 1998, Illumilu was appointed as CEO of Standard Trust Bank. He was only 34 at the time, making him the youngest CEO of a commercial bank in Nigeria. It's because we're young, we're called cowboys. So, in this uh, a, an industry where the last thing you want to be described as a cowboy in an industry that is uh, driven by trust, uh, trust. And so that was a major challenge. I and mean, you don't blame people because young people, 34 years old, are head of becoming a CEO. And you want people to enjoy their life savings with you. According to Oduoza, age was nothing but a number, and Illumilu was quick to establish himself. A very strong team and very focused. You know, he has a clarity of the vision, what he wants to achieve. And it is amazing for somebody at that age, you know, looking so many years ahead. For instance, he saw the emergence of the mega banks in Nigeria long before the consolidation started and so on. So as a very young CEO, he just transformed the entire banking industry and people were just amazed. And today, the youths also look up to him. With Illumilu in charge, Standard Trust Bank was back in the green in less than a decade. He also increased its retail network and introduced a range of new financial services. By 2005, Standard Trust Bank was one of the five biggest commercial banks in Nigeria. That same year, Illumilu headed up one of the biggest deals in Nigerian corporate history by merging Standard Trust Bank with United Bank for Africa. The merged bank took on UBA as its name and Illumilu was appointed its chief executive. Illumilu attributes the bank's success down to a simple lesson on how to save, taught to him by his father. The loss of it then was, okay, you earn a dollar, let's encourage you to save 20 cents at Standard Trust Bank. And the only thing that will make you save 20 cents or 2 cents, one is that it's capital, you're ready to risk, and two, service is good. So that if service is good and you think you're risking 20% of what you're earning, over time you grow confident and grow confidence and now begin to embrace it. And so that was what happened. So over a short period of time, the confidence level grew and people were now patronized no more. And we grew very far. We were the fastest growing by at the time. We opened 100 branches in a short period of time and grew to acquire the third largest bank in the country and turn, created the, the huge Pan-African bank that existed as the United Bank of Africa. With Illumilu at the helm, UBA morphed into a diversified financial services institution with operations in 19 African countries, as well as the UK, France and the United States. The merger of two banks not only made history, but paved the way in which banks operated in Africa. Not just the largest major in Nigeria, it was and remains the largest major in finance services uh, landscape in sub-Saharan Africa today. So when I started as a CEO, it was difficult to do a $10 million transaction. But well, we needed scale. And as you know, this saying about being at the right place at the right time, we made this move and there was consolidation also in the banking sector in Nigeria. So creating this level, this size of bank gave us a lot of capacity to do transactions. Today, United Bank of Africa can single-handedly do a $300 million transaction can syndicate billions of transactions for customers. That didn't happen before. So creating size, size, scale, was key in making some of these transformational changes. Illumilu stepped down as CEO in 2010 on the back of the Central Bank of Nigeria, limiting the tenure of top banking executive to 10 years. By the time he left, the UBA group was worth $2 billion in terms of market capitalization with more than $12 billion in assets, 10,000 employees, and 7 million customers. Illumilu's Pan-African approach offered a glimpse into his plans beyond banking. He decided to set up an investment firm that would boost Africa's social and economic wealth by plowing money not just into financial services, but the private sector as a whole. <laughs> 